Hello YouTube family. I wanted to come in really quick with an update. Um, I just finished shampooing my hair uh, and after this video is over I'll insert a picture of um, how I actually banded it this time. Um, I just had a retightening um, about six days ago. Uh, and just the way that it worked out, um, because we pretty much made all of our, set all of our dates, uh, during my consultation. Um, it just turned out that it was only three weeks past my installation, so I didn't have a whole lot of new growth. And my hair is growing a little slowly at this point in time. So, I did have that, but something that I also had was, um product left in my hair shampooing um which i knew was kind of happening i didn't know to what degree uh but I, I i knew it was happening because those braids were tight as ever like i can't i just couldn't figure out how to adequately braid my hair i mean it's short if i'm gonna braid it i can't braid it and have it all loosey-goosey because then why am i braiding it so Oh, and also, um, the nape area, uh, she did remind me about, um, making sure that the nape area was adequately rinsed out, which when I shampooed my hair today, I, um, I did it in the kitchen sink, which is a little difficult because I'm sure the sink is a little high and blah, 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 blah. So, um, I did, uh take my time and go through and shampoo I twisted my hair very loosely I'm talking like three two or three revolutions from the mid shaft down to the ends fold the ends over and band them so it was almost like not being twisted or braided at all it wasn't braided at all and um, the twist was barely there because I really wanted to be able to get in there um, and uh, shampoo it as adequately as I could so, um, I also diluted my shampoo a little bit more this time, uh, and just shampooed a little extra. Uh, so I did it like three times, but also overnight, um, because I was having some, um, patches and stuff on my scalp, uh, which could have just been aggravated due to having product that wasn't perfectly rinsed out. Uh, I did some apple cider vinegar and mixed it with, uh, some of my, uh, hibiscus spray or my hibiscus water, um, and let that sit on my hair. I got too lazy to wash my hair last night. Well, too tired, I should say, to shampoo my hair last night. Uh, and then I got up this morning for work, which when I got to work, turns out I wasn't even supposed to be there. But since I was there, <laughs> I ended up working for the morning. So underneath my um, Grace Alea cap was uh, my plastic cap and my satin bonnet. So that was sitting up under there. Um, and hey, what could I do? So my scalp marinated for a long time. But um yeah, just be mindful of your shampooing and getting all of your product out if you're a newbie, um, especially with short hair. I mean, it seems kind of difficult because, I mean, you can't really see what's going on up there. You can't pull the hair down and look at the strands and see, oh, does it look like something's in there? So it's kind of like once you already are out of the shower, it's like, uh, okay, well, I'm not fitting to get back in the shower. <laughs> so, or at least that was me. Like, if I notice something there, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not getting back in the shower to fix this, so... Yeah, see you later. But um, definitely, you don't want to have a lot of residue in your hair. Um, and you don't want it on your scalp, especially. Uh, so I'll insert that picture. You guys have a great day. Oh, quickest video ever. And yeah, keep updating the rest of us with your hair progress, your hair tips and tricks, and your stories. Remember to thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't, and please comment. Tell us some stuff about you below. Have a good day. Bye.